Britain. Earlier today, a number of local stakeholders met with representatives of the three main international partners on the project at a special meeting. Addressing the gathering, Director of the Local Energy Unit, Ellsworth Dakin, points out that he supports the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon's Sustainable Energy for All initiative to ensure universal access to modern energy services, improve efficiency, and increase use of renewable sources. Their concerns with St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the need for sustainable energy is even more urgent as the country share the highest electricity cost in the world and most vulnerable to the effects of climate change. According to Dacon, the continuing debate on the fuel surcharge rate and mode of calculation is not the solution to the problem here. He said the solution lies with a lifestyle change and general awareness towards energy and the reduction and dependency on fossil fuel. The transformation in the way we produce, deliver and consume energy is of paramount importance for a greener future. The International Energy Agency, IEA, expects global demand for oil to grow by 41% by 2030. How supply will keep with this demand is unknown. But it will be logical to assume that oil prices will continue to rise and the risk of supply failure will continue to grow. The current and urgent challenge confronting us, therefore, is the identification of plausible ways to lower our energy prices by reducing the dependency of fossil fuels. Our national energy security is of pivotal importance to our economic development. Dakin says energy plays a critical role in sustainable human development and the issue must be dealt with in all quarters. Poverty, population, health, the environment, investment in industrial and agricultural sectors, foreign exchange, and even national security. Without energy, security can be no sustainable development, no national prosperity, and no national security.